What was going through your mind when you heard your name called out? Um, don't fall over. <laughs> I think your author said the same thing. Don't actually. have anything stuck on my shoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it was just, it was beautiful. It was really beautiful because all my authors were there and it was such a special moment for all of us. So it felt really special that everyone was there. Well, they are obviously completely <laughs> devoted to you and totally in love with you. And it's really, really beautiful to see so many of them come out. And what's particularly amazing is obviously you only launched your agency, Lunson Literary, last year. So given that, what does an award like this mean for you and your new business? It means so much, but even without the new business, it's been a long time since I've been in a sort of environment where there's appraisals and reviews and any kind of feedback so the only feedback I get is something like this so it's really special to have some sort of indication that you're doing the right thing because otherwise you can just like plow along and keep paddling away but there's no real sense of like you know what's it for and this is just a really lovely sort of vindication that it's all worth it for the hard work. I think it's definitely definitely been worth it. One thing about your agency is that it obviously has a very special connection to the past and to your past specifically. What does that mean to you in the context of this award? I think it's just, you know, I haven't had a traditional path into the industry. I sort of fell into publishing. I didn't know it was a career that you could get into. I went to a comprehensive school, which in the industry is still a rarity. But back, at, you know, 17 years ago when I started was almost unheard of. So I've always wanted to champion the ethos of my family, which was about diversity and, um, you know, the underdogs and the marginalized voices that you don't necessarily get to hear. So that was everything that I wanted to do. And so I think it feels like we're starting to make headway and we're a bunch of sort of renegade outsiders, including me, and now people are starting to listen to us. So that's really lovely. Well, especially given that, and especially given where you've come from, uh, there are obviously a lot of aspiring writers out there who are querying agents, who potentially feel that the industry is not theirs to enter. What would you say to writers who are out there querying agents and trying really hard to, to break in and to get that first sort of step on the writing ladder? There's 100% people there ready to listen to you and more than ever now, like there's still places, there's still, you know, there's still a lot to be done. I think um, particularly for me, I feel like class is still something that needs to be overcome. I think we're doing massive things with like race and sexual sexuality and gender identity. But I think that class is still like the unsaid thing because I think a lot of people who come from a working class background don't necessarily know that the publishing industry exists even, let alone that it's something they could be part of. So I think there's still work to be done and I think, you know, it's beautiful tonight that the book that has helped me get this award and has got s so far is the Marcus Rashford and Carl Anker book, which is, there's, there's people reading it who've never read a book in their life who have found this book and it's meant something to them. So I think that's just really beautiful and I think any, any aspiring writer Keep going because people are ready to listen. Well, that is a really amazing message to end on, except that I want to ask you one more question, which is just how do you plan to celebrate tonight? Um, I'm hoping that the DJ is going to play some good tunes that we can all have a little dance because my, my author crew, they're good dancers, so we need, we need some tunes. Okay, this is really good to know. I know <laughs> they are prepping the dance floor as we speak, so have an amazing time. Thank you, Miriam. Congratulations. Thank you.